This is kind of a neat simulation of how the ocean gets pulled around by the moon. It's just an awesome to imagine the incredibly strong gravitational force the moon actually exerts on matter on the earth, especially if you think about how heavy water is. And I mean, the fact that like, if you try to carry a five gallon jug of water, that's kind of hard. And here the moon, 240,000 miles away, can pull the oceans. Now, this is an extreme amount. What you're seeing here is an exaggeration for sure, but at least it shows you how the oceans get, get, can get pulled up and back, you know, six foot tides or so. So here we're going to um, figure out what I'm doing first. Yeah, there, run the simulation. So obviously here's the Earth spinning and the moon goes around and as the moon revolves around the Earth, the Earth rotates, that's the word rotate, rotate, the moon revolves in its orbit. See how the water follows the moon? There's even a poem about that by Walt Whitman. He says, uh, as the water follows the moon quietly with fluid steps everywhere across the globe. That's kind of neat. So you can be poetic. Anyway, here's the sun. Now I've turned on the sun. So you can see the sunlight cycling around and uh, this is the North Pole that we're looking at. So the sunlight here, this is daytime, this is nighttime. Uh, the Earth's cycling around in a counterclockwise direction and the tides are following the moon. Now, because the Earth is also rotating, it affects the tides. If I include that effect right here, you can see there is a, a slight uh, effect there on the tides, but without that effect, right here, you can see that, um, it's lined up quite perfectly. Because as the Earth itself is spinning, it kind of takes some water with it in reality. Here we go. It, so the water's actually in, in advance of the moon a little bit because the Earth's rotating and pulling the water with it. So obviously, or I hope obviously, um, if you're on the Earth where there's this part, it's a high tide, and here it's a low tide. Pretty cool, huh?